Hello students, Sai Ram. As you know, your SA2 is about to start. So for that, we need to study. So for that, we need to revise the lessons. Okay? So today's video is all about revision. So today's video is all about revision. So here, before we start the revision, I would like to mention English portion. Okay, now let's see here English portion. New voices, chapter 11, 12, 13 and 14. Active English, chapter 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35 and 37. Grammar, punctuation, conjunction, opposites and adjectives, composition, scene passage and letter writing. Okay, so today we will do active English revision. So today we will do active English revision. So your exam, your English exam is on 6th of March that is 2021. Okay, so your exam is on 6th of March 2021. Okay, let's start active English revision. Okay. See the question here, the exact same pattern you will get in your question paper. All the questions are multiple choice question that is MCQ. That means every question will have options and you have to click the correct answer. Okay, now let's see the first question. Who walked to school yesterday? Maya and Anu did. They dash school. In the exam, you have to read the question twice. That means two times you have to read the question before clicking the correct answer. Okay, now let's see here. Who walked to school yesterday? Maya and Anu did. They dash school. Now see the options here. Walk to, walked to, walking to. So here we're talking about past tense. Okay. Who walked to school yesterday? Maya and Anu did. They walked to school. That means the answer is second one. Walk to school. Okay. Now let's see the next question. Did Maya eat a banana yesterday? No, she did not. She dashed an apple. That's the option here. Eight, eating, eat. Did Maya eat a banana yesterday? That means we're talking about past tense here. No, she did not. She dashed an apple. Eat, eating or eat. She ate an apple. Okay, because we're talking about here past tense. So, eat past tense will be ate. She ate an apple. Okay, now let's see the next question. We are writing in our books now. We are writing in our books now. So, we're talking about present tense. Okay, we dash in our books every day. Let's see the option here. Written, wrote, write. We written in our books every day. We wrote in our books every day or we write in our books every day. It's so talking about present tense here. So what is the present tense here? Write. Very good. We write in our books every day. Okay, now let's see the next question. What is he going to do? So we are asking a question here. What is he going to do? Now see the picture here. Play. He is dash football. He is 
slash football. So that means we're talking about future tense here. So what he is going to do? So this is talking about future. List the option here. Going to play, goes to play, gone to play. So when you're talking about future tense, we will use going to play. So what he is going to do? He is going to play. You can see the picture. Play. So what he is going to do? He is going to play. The correct answer is the first one. He is going to play football. Okay. Let's see the next question. Fifth question. Is this a big ship? Is this a big ship? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is dash. Now, let's see the option here. Very tiny, very big, biggest, very. So here, you can see the picture here, the ship is big. Now, you put very in front to show that yes, it is, but it's very big. So the correct answer is the second one. Yes, it is. It is very big. Okay. Now, let's do the next question. Mr. Shah gave some money to Maya. Mr. Shah gave some money to Maya. He gave dash money. Now, so we're talking about indirect object. Mr. Shah, he gave some money to Maya. Whom he gave the money? To Maya. Right? So, Mr. Shah gave money to Maya. He gave. Maya will be her. He gave her what? Some money. So, see here. Her some is the second option. Right? So, he gave her some money. Mr. Shah gave some money to Maya. He gave her some money money. Okay, let's see the next question. The teacher is reading a story to the children. The teacher is reading a story to the children. She is reading dash a story. Let's see the option here. The teacher is reading a story to children. She, the teacher, is reading dash a story. Whom she is reading the story? To whom she is reading? She is reading to the children, right? So, but for the children, you will use him, her, or them. Them. Very good. She is reading them a story. She is reading them a story. Okay. Now, let's see the next question. When do you have breakfast in the morning? When do you have breakfast in the morning? I have my breakfast at dash. Now, let's see the option here. 9 o'clock every day, 2 o'clock every day, 10 o'clock every night. So tell me the answer. It is very, very easy. When do you have your breakfast? In the morning. What time? 9 o'clock every day. Yes. So I have my breakfast at 9 o'clock every day. Okay. Now let's see the next one. We go to bed at night. We go to bed at night. We dash go to bed at night. That's the options here. Often, never always this one is also very very easy we go to bed at night we often go to bed at night we never go to bed at night or we always go to bed at night always yes correct all the time we sleep at night only right so we always go to bed at night Okay, let's see the next question. 
dash jam is there in the bottle. The bottle is full. The dash dash jam is there in the bottle. The bottle is full. Let's see the option here. How many? How much? How old? How much jam? How many jam? Or how old jam? Give me the correct answer. Now, many is used for countable. Much is used for uncountable. Old is used for age. So, I'm talking about jam here. The jam is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Very good. So, how many jam or how much jam? How much. Very good. The correct answer is second one. How much jam is there in the bottle? The bottle is full. Okay, now let's see the next question. Dash is Radha. Radha is 10. She is 10 dash. Now, let's see the options. How much years old? How old years old? How old year old? So, let's see the first one. Dash is Radha. So, talking about age here. So, what would be the correct answer? How old? Very good. How old is Radha? She is 10. She is 10. In both the option, how old is there? Now, years old or year old? She is year old or years old? Now, 10. She is 10 years old. B1. Okay, the correct answer is how old is Radha? Radha is 10. She is 10 years old. Okay, now let's see the next question. We dash with our tongue. Tongue, right? We dash with our tongue. Let's see the options here. We smile with our tongue. Or we talk with our tongue or we hold with our tongue. That's very easy. What do we what do we do with our tongue? We smile, talk, or hold. We can't hold, right? That's of course not possible. Smile. You smile with your tongue or lips? Lips. So the only option is talk. We talk with our tongue. Right? The correct answer is we talk with our tongue. Okay, now let's the next question. Do you ever sleep in school? Do you ever sleep in school? No, I dash sleep in school. Let's see the options here. I always sleep in school. I sometimes sleep in school. I never sleep in school. That is also a very, very easy question. Now tell me the answer. You always, right? No. Sometimes? The correct answer is never. Do you ever sleep in school? No. I never sleep in school. Okay. Now let's see the next question. Yesterday, I saw a man dash umbrella. Yesterday, I saw a man dash umbrella. Let's see the options here. In a umbrella, on umbre umbrella, or with an umbrella. Now, this is also very easy. Tell me the correct answer. With an umbrella. Very good because you can't see a man in umbrella or on umbrella with an umbrella. Okay, so yesterday I saw a man with an umbrella. The correct answer is last one. Okay, now let's see the next and the last question. What is the spelling of 13th? What is the spelling of 13th? Now let's see the options here. T H 
टी एच आर डबल ई टी डबल ई एन टी एच और टी एच आई आर टी डबल ई एन टी एच और टी एच आई आर टी डबल ई एन थर्टीन वॉट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ थर्टीन नाउ थर्टीन इज अ ऑर्डिनल नंबर विच टेल द पोजिशन राइट थर्टीन करेक्ट आंसर इज T H I R T W E N T H thirteen. So you have to learn all the ordinal numbers. Okay. All the very best students. Please see all the revision videos, and you have to study from your textbook and notebook. That is also very important. Till then, take care. Goodbye.